On May 11th of this year, I placed an order for a large-scale tank car from a site called Model Train Closeouts. Now, I placed my order from this particular retailer because the model in question has been discontinued by the manufacturer for a few years now, and trying to find it has been almost impossible. Because I saw Model Train Closeouts had the model with the best price, I chose to order it from them, only to find that I'd never receive it. A week after I placed my order, I hadn't received any notification of shipment, so I sent an email to the retailer asking for the status of my order. Another week passed after this, and there was still no update, much less a reply to my previous email, so I sent another one. Still, after a month of not hearing back from this retailer, I decided to do some research, and what I found was far from reassuring to say the least. I sent one final email asking for the status of my order, then got to work digging up some info on model train closeouts. I looked across the model train forms to see if anyone else had had issues with this retailer, but didn't find anything like I had when I encountered issues with my order from Active Power Sports. I then tried putting the retailer's address into Google Earth and found it pinpointed to a house in South Can, Pennsylvania. Now, this property looks nothing like a commercial business and almost appears like no one even lives here. Who knows, maybe model train closeouts is being run out of the basement of this residence, but there's no mailbox at this address either, which raises further suspicion. Now, I did find that just down the road from this property was a car dealership whose phone number was visible on the sign, and I did call this number to see if I could get some information. Unfortunately, the owner never called me back, and I'm not sure whether that's good or bad. After finding out very little there, I decided to run a Google search on this address just to see if I could find out who actually lived at this location. However, this address comes up for another retailer called Hobby Models LLC, and this is where things get interesting. Looking at some of the search results shows various sites which have reviews on this retailer, and from what I've seen, there's not even one positive review I can report back to you all. There's a lot of comments about slow shipping, orders never being received, orders only being partially fulfilled, and one of the most disturbing ones has to be the way the retailer communicates with customers. Now, it's really up to the audience how many of these comments they actually want to believe, but I do feel majority, if not all of these, are legit. Unfortunately, I can't show everything, but I will leave links down in the video description. Something else I noticed is that the address shown for hobby models on the Better Business Bureau website is a P.O. box, rather than the residential address that I had found previously. I thought that might explain the lack of a mailbox at this address, but running a Google search on hobby models does bring up their website, and the address on there is different as well. This time it's showing an address for Mayfield, Pennsylvania. Again, I ran a search for hobby models address on Google Earth, but after several attempts, I was only able to find this address in Towanda, Pennsylvania, not Mayfield. Furthermore, when you look at the business located at this address, it looks like nothing but a vacant store. I'm starting to see a trend here. Considering what I had already found, I could have just stopped there since I'd clearly seen enough to know where I stood with model train closeouts, but I decided to run a Google search on hobby models address, and now I get results coming up for internet hobbies. Again, we've got web pages talking about poor customer service from this retailer and orders never being received. In addition, it seems this retailer as well enjoys threatening customers with lawsuits and telling them to f off all the time. Well, aren't you guys nice? I also brought up Internet Hobby's address on Google Earth, but the address was pinpointed to a vacant lot out along Scranton Carbondale Highway in Ennin, Pennsylvania, and not in Mayfield like their website says. Now, they supposedly have a big facility at this location, but there's nothing in the vicinity of this address other than a few restaurants, auto shops, and the Salvation Army. This is pretty much where my investigation ends, as I'm tired of running searches just to see the same trend every time, and I think I've shown you all enough to prove my point. So with all the evidence I've seen, I've pretty much come to the conclusion that I'm not going to be getting the model I ordered, and that model train closeouts is nothing more than one of many fraudulent retailers probably made up by a single individual. Similar to what I encountered years back with Active Power Sports, this could very well just be a retailer who only has items in stock once you order them. This is meant to cut down on overhead stock, which can become costly if said stock isn't selling quickly. I know some would say this is just a scam operation, but the evidence I've gathered doesn't really prove that 100%. Some of the comments from people who have ordered from hobby models or internet hobbies have stated they have received orders or had their money refunded, and I find it hard to believe scammers wouldn't just take the money and run. Now when it comes to my order, as I said earlier, I placed it on May 11th, and it's the beginning of July now. I got email confirmation that my order had been received and was being processed, but according to PayPal, my card was never charged. Again, after finding out what I know now and taking everything into consideration, I'm not expecting my order to ever be fulfilled at this point. 
Thankfully, I did manage to track down another tank car from a reputable person, and I even got it for a cheaper price. Still, I can tell you right now that I'm going to be a lot more selective where I shop for model railroading equipment from now on, and I will never be recommending model train closeouts to anyone in the future. So here's my final message. Model train closeouts, hobby models, internet hobbies, whatever the hell or whoever the hell you actually are, you're jerking people around stops here. There's no excuse for the games you're playing, and it's time for you to close your non-existent doors. This has been going on for eight years, hundreds of people have complained, and yet the problem still persists. You're not running a retail business, you're running a half-assed attempt at a business that's going absolutely nowhere. Just give up and get the hell off the internet. If you want to send your lawyers after me for what I've just said, then I look forward to hearing from them. My email is down in the description, and I've got enough evidence on you to prove my case. Lastly, I'm asking my audience to share this video and get word out about these so-called retailers, as this has gone on for far too long. Also, if you've had issues with any of the retailers mentioned in this video, leave a comment down below. I'm pretty sure there will be a lot of discussion in the comments on what's going on, and I know for a fact that videos have a way of fixing things. Maybe after exposing this on YouTube, someone of a higher authority can look into this problem. I'm all for giving retailers a chance to fix their mistakes, but there's no turning back from this kind of shady business. I'm not someone looking to get something for nothing, I'm just one of many pissed off consumers tired of the excuses and just want a little bit of honesty.